are you aware of the products delivered by your organization it should be in your veins it should be in your arteries it should be in your blood you should be completely soaked into that so product second is the processes i am in the standard operating processes are you aware of the processes of your department of your organization yes you should be very very well aware of that third is the people people what i mean the internal as well as the external customers all the stakeholders and the channel partners you are interacting with directly indirectly you should be well aware who's who so these three p's are essential when it comes to professionalism because there is a lot of stuff going on in professionalism if you ask me no mumbo jumbo to be very straight the seedhi baat no bakwas jis organization se aapki rozi roti chalti hai aapka ghar chalta hai मेरा कहने का मतलब जो सैलरी आपको मिलती है आपका करियर चलता है राइट right? उसके प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेज उसके प्रोसेसेस, उस, उसके पीपल आपको पता होने चाहिए चलता है एटीट्यूड नहीं चलता है एज सिंपल राइट नाउ नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज बेसिकली पर्सनालिटी नाउ व्हाट आई मीन बाय पर्सनालिटी लेट मी पुट दिस वेरी वेरी सिंपल इन वेरी सिंपल नाउ वॉट आई मीन बाई पर्सनैलिटी इज दो अटेंड माई सेशन दे आर वेरी वेल अवेयर इट्स बेसिकली द कैश K A S H cash. So if you want to earn a lot of cash, C S H. I mean money. You need to master this cash. K A S H. So what this cash is all about? The cash is K stands for knowledge. And knowledge is you know no. The K stands for knowledge. It's very deep in itself. You know it starts with your with your knowledge. I mean self knowledge, the department knowledge, the organization knowledge, the industry knowledge. I mean the general knowledge. You know. You know, whatever you you are into it, your subject knowledge, your domain knowledge, you know the knowledge, right? There is no end to it. Uh, thanks to online, the MOOC, MOOC courses, or maybe offline courses, you need to constantly upgrade yourself. That is basically knowledge. Just to give an example, um, somebody told me to deliver a, a session on design thinking for the artists, for the designers, the budding designers. and i delivered though uh, very creatively but i i realized that you know i need to keep myself upgraded so i i enrolled for a very elite course with kpmg design thinking course i paid from the pocket i i'm a certified um, uh, design thinking practitioner this is why i'm highlighting this because whenever you you uh, you are in front of your people your stakeholders your participants for that matter you should not be half baked or unprepared you should quite well versed what you are talking about all right because this is the this is the fast paced world this is the fast changing world yeah i need to you need to be up to the date up to the minute rather what's going on and uh, uh, then you know uh, the attitude the attitude i'm coming is basically what bruce lee says uh, i'm a die hard fan of all those martial arts you know uh, uh, philosophers practitioners bruce lee says your attitude you should be like water water in sense so flexible right taking a shape of anything wherever it goes mm-hmm. be shapeless that's what it says so uh, i am indicating at uh, hr terminology the professional terminology called right fit are you the right fit not just when when you got hired you got recruited but otherwise also constantly you need to upgrade yourself to be the right fit as to the strategies of the organization right so that is an attitude uh it is not just winning uh, locally but winning globally also so whenever you get uh, into international markets maybe as an employee or maybe get certain courses may it could be in sales and marketing maybe training could be in, uh, business analytics whatever it is you need to understand the nitty gritties the intricacies of that local market i'm mean, local market there i'm talking about the global global market you need to prepare thoroughly you need to meet the people that you need to understand the thick and thin of it so that you know you can you can connect and it is not just just about the connection but you should be able to sustain that connection for a longer time for win win association which i have been doing it beat any any market african market middle east market you know i have been you know doing doing thorough research learning about them and then getting into the nerves i mean um, then then getting over there and connecting with them and uh, by the grace of god by the grace of the people you know still the people are in touch with me that's what you know i mean right so that's basically attitude the right attitude and it it varies from profession to profession which you need to understand right attitude then the skill sets the skills basically are 
um, mastered through a practice, performance, practice and progress. You need to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. But the right practice, because the right practice makes you perfect. It's not just a practice, you know, you need to look into it, whether you are, what you are practicing, is it up to date? Bring in some change. Seek the feedback. If you get the feedback, that's fine, no problem. But otherwise, you also very honestly seek the feedback. Because when it comes to competence, there's, there's no end to it. You need to constantly upgrade yourself. When it comes to commitment, it should be always 100 out of 100. Either it's 100 or it's zero. There is no in between, right? Commitment. I have a commitment, I'm talking about the integrity, not the financial integrity, but the brand awareness because you are representing a brand so you are not just brand ambassador you are also custodian of the brand you are to lead by an example you can't afford to do anything which goes against your brand value which can tarnish the image of your organization of the industry you are working in hi right. it's it's is it clear yeah i'm sure you are feeling what i'm you know I'm trying to um, highlight so skill sets come through practice and then you know this right now is right attitude right skills yeah it becomes your habit. A habit means, you know, you become effortless. You need not to grope or struggle for certain concepts because you're living them, right? You become that. That becomes you. So that's basically your cash and your personality. And if you don't upgrade your personality, you may be, you know, um, fired, you know, because of the lack of uh, your personality, which is not matching, you know, fine tuning with the purpose. That's basically coming to the purpose, purpose of your role. Why the organization hired you? You need to understand. For example, we say in in the corporate, the JD, KRA, KPI, job description, result areas, and key performance indicators. For example, if I may put it across, you know, a KPI of um, of a salesperson, frontline salesperson, where I was instrumental in devising this this KPI. Maybe thirty percent out of hundred is uh, towards its to me to measure its its sales generations, basically revenue generations. Right, and maybe the thirty percent is about the collection. I'm talking about you know white goods uh, uh, sector, yeah, um, electronic sector basically, where the, where the person is meeting with different kind different kinds of dealers and distributors, the channel partners. So you know thirty percent for the sales generation, thirty percent for the collection, maybe ten fifteen percent for the innovative ideas, maybe ten fifteen percent of the dealer delight that's behavior with the de with, with the dealers with the channel partners because the three sixty degree feedback is may, is taken to measure your performance when it comes to your performance management system, right? Maybe the rest of things could be being a fantastic team player and so on and so forth. So KPI has to be very very clear, crystal clear what you are there, why you are there what the organization expects from you. That's basically the purpose. Now, also you need to understand your higher purpose, why you are there on planet Earth, what's that driving force, that divine force, you know, uh, which propels you, um, you know, to find happiness. Yeah, so according to that higher purpose, you can choose the organization, the industry, which are congruent to your higher purpose. And then, um, you know, it's, it's basically uh, being unstoppable, unstoppable in a very positive sense that you, you, uh, you, you, you keep learning, you keep, you keep developing, you keep sharpening your saw, you know, and then you, you know, you continue to add tremendous value to the organization you work with and the industry you work with, right? And you also have that solace, that peace of mind. When you hit the bed at night, you know, you are having that peace of mind. Yes, you are, you are quite committed. You are quite competent. Yeah, and also you are quite compassionate in whatever you do, right? So thank you very much. I hope you know this. This you know you'll find a very subtle and a very soft uh, self reminder. Basically, uh, I'm not here to dictate any kind of terms. Basically, but you know, out of my experience, I keep sharing all those things. And uh, thank you once again for your kind um, uh, encouragement and response. So this is dedicated to all the young professionals who have embarked their journey, be it MB or engineering or maybe any other field, maybe health services or maybe, you know, already um, or maybe on the verge of embarking this journey. So this, this is very, very, very important. So to summarize, basically, you need to be very well aware of your production services, the products, basically the processes. Yes. And uh, the people and you need not to uh, and you should not forget about a constant uh, renewal, refining, purification of your personality and you should not forget the purpose, the organization purpose and your higher purpose. Thank you very much again. Goodbye. Thank you. Take care.